Okay, so you've got this set up. You've got the AV600 kit, which consists of one or more TLWPA4220s and one TLPA4010, and you've plugged them both into your electricity supply, and they can communicate together. And the 4010 is connected using Ethernet cable to your router, and you have a computer that is connected to the WPA4220, either via Wi-Fi or Ethernet. And occasionally, sometimes once or twice a day, you have this problem. Hmm, can't reach this page. You suddenly have no internet. The only way to fix that is either to restart that or that by powering it off of the switch and switching it back on again. And then about five seconds later, you have internet again. Now, if you're doing this once or twice a day, it can get pretty annoying. So I have a better solution. That means I very rarely need to restart that or that. And that is by running a ping command in the background. And so now before we ping, we need to know which IP address to ping to. Okay, so we need to open up a terminal. So on Windows 11, you can type terminal like that. On Windows 10 or earlier, you could type command or PowerShell. I'm going to use terminal, Windows terminal. I'm going to type IP config. Okay, I'm looking for the default gateway, and that's the IP address there. That's the IP address of my router. So from my computer, I'll be pinging the IP address of that router once a second. And that should keep the connection between those two devices alive. Okay, so next, find somewhere on your computer. We're going to create a new file. I'm on my desktop. I'm going to select new text document. I'm going to call it ping router dot bat enter I'm now going to edit it on windows 11 the context menu has changed so you have to get the edit option this way okay and in that i'll paste that and that's the ip address of my router that i got using the ip config command your router's ip address might be different than that but that's what it is for me now t means keep pinging it's not going to stop pinging by default it will only ping four times and then stop the s3 there is optional you don't have to use it you can even do s1 but s3 shows a little more information it outputs the time duration of the ping round trip from your computer as it travels to the router and back again. We'll see that. Okay, so save that. Now we can start that up by double clicking. And that is now just pinging the router once a second. One cat and dog, two cat and dog, three cat and dog, four cat and dog. It's about once a second. It's showing the timestamps between my computer, the router and back. And I'll leave that running for the whole time I'm using my computer. And so far, I never need to manually switch my 4220 or 4010 back on again during the day. Anyway, so I've tried many different ways to solve this problem. And that for me, running ping like that continually in the background, is so far the most reliable method. Excellent. And now, of course, I can just minimize that and get on with my day. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share.